Hello again, everybody. It is Takedown Media. Scott Casper, Nike Hot Seat special guest today, UFC Hall of Famer, motion picture star Randy Couture joins us from his. Uh, uh, is it a is it a cabin? Uh, is it a retreat? Uh, what what is it? It's a little harder to define than that. It started out as a rough cut post and bean barn, and uh, I turned it into a house. It turned into a lot bigger house than I expected, uh, but uh, I love it. It's a great place, and I wish this was a hot seat. It's about twenty degrees outside, so <laughs> it'd be nice if the seat was hot. Well, Randy, appreciate you joining us today. Topic of conversation as a man that uh, had a tremendous impact on your life. It was not that long ago, October 24th, as a matter of fact, when Coach John Casebeer was inducted into the Washington State Wrestling Coaches Association Hall of Fame after uh, a 30-year coaching career at Edmonds School uh, District, including a couple different stops along the way, and one of them was at Linwood, your, uh, your junior high school. Um, and he is a guy that actually uh, helped you have a great understanding and a love for the sport. Can you talk to us about Coach K. Spear? Well, yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> in the sixth grade at Oak Heights Elementary School, went to watch my, my best friend's older brothers wrestle, and they were on the junior high school team at Alderwood Junior High. It's the, the Stevenson boys, David and John Stevenson, were – a few years older than we were, and of course we looked up to them. And so Bobby and I went to the tournament in the sixth grade, not expecting to wrestle. Uh, his brothers thought it would be funny to throw us in the novice tournament, uh, <laughs> never having been on a mat at all. And uh, I, I got my first bloody nose. I, ha I had a blast and uh, rolled into junior high school, to Alderwood Junior High School, the next year in the seventh grade. And Coach Casper was the uh, was the PE teacher, and so you show up. The PE and he's like wrestling starts Monday. I'll see you guys Monday. He remembered us from the from the novice tournament, and uh, man, I I turned out and, and I've been wrestling ever since in some way, shape, or form. I think Coach Casper was one of those guys. He was a very technical coach. He had tag board signs on all uh, all up on the walls in in the staging area where we set up our mats to wrestle and. Had you know all the takedowns that he was teaching, all the reversals he was teaching, all the escapes, uh, and the different tactics and techniques that that he taught, and and a bunch of his little kept catchphrases like "When in doubt, get out," <laughs> which is certainly one you can live by <laughs> even today. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken that advice when it came to a couple of my marriages. I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but I I think I learned to visualize. Uh, going through those those tag board signs and picturing in my mind which ones I knew and which ones I didn't know and and uh, I didn't know what visualization was back then but uh, it certainly had me on the right path. He was always positive, uh, uh, just a, a great technical coach and and a lot of fun. I think he taught us the fun and fundamentals of, of wrestling and some of those guys on that team are are my friends to this day at, at fifty plus years old. So. I think he did something right, for sure. It's been said that um, Coach K. Spear also served as a surrogate father to many of the kids he coached. Uh, as a matter of fact, Greg Ortega, uh, wonderful, wonderful guy. He actually invited him to live uh, with he and his wife, Marilyn, during his senior year of high school. Can you talk to, talk to us about um, a coach as a surrogate father, and in this case, Case Coach Case Bear and his uh, impact on your life. That's funny. Greg Ortega was was referee in matches when I was in junior high school, uh, so I, I know Greg well. And, and Greg's actually the one that uh, that called me up and and told me Coach was being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, on too short a notice because Coach Case Bear tried to keep it a secret. He didn't <laughs> want uh, any notoriety about it, but. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I grew up in a single parent family. My mom worked two jobs and and did did whatever she needed to do to get us around, uh, to get us to. All, you know, I played soccer and, and wrestled. She taught me how to ski. Uh, I did a lot of stuff with my mom, but but I had no no male figures in in my life at that time. My dad was never really around. I was lucky if I got to see him once or twice a year, and and so I think uh, Coach Case Beard. Uh, was one of those guys that filled that void. He gave me somebody 
to emulate. He, he, you know, sat down and talked to me if I was being obnoxious or being a little shit. And, and he would even uh, pull out the sneaker. He had a an old Kmart rubber <laughs> sneaker uh, with the top cut off that he would whack you on the ass if you got too far out of line. So uh, I think uh, he was definitely, I think, uh, somebody that influenced me that that I wanted to emulate. I wanted to be like that guy. And he taught me how to how to work how to be a champion and uh i think those those lessons and uh fond memories i have from the sport are what carried me through uh all the way through high school wrestling in the army uh and then eventually into oklahoma state and on to mixed martial arts we're talking with randy couture his uh memories of the 70 year old uh john k spear who was recently inducted into the hall of fame now in uh the wrestling officials um life as well 27 years he's been an official randy so it's not just coaching it's not just pe but officiating as well um and he's done it all so so well and so low key is is that is that describe him well absolutely i I think he's he's a a very simple man uh he has a strong faith that, that he relies on very heavily um he's a he's a family family guy uh, I can remember, you know, the old pristine Broncos he used to drive to work. Uh, he, he was a big fan of those old Ford Broncos, and um, you know, he's an avid hunter and an avid fisherman, and those were all things that I, I loved to do as a kid. And things, one of the few times I did get to see my dad was was either hunting or fishing. So we had a lot of things in common and things we could relate to. And uh, I think he's just one of those simple guys that. Uh, Wrestling is like so many others. It's touched his life, and he was a competitor, and and then found a way to to get back and to influence a lot of other young men in the sport of wrestling and through the sport of wrestling. If I say he doesn't like stalling, is that uh, (laughs) is that selling it selling it short? (laughs) Well, he's definitely a man of action, and I can remember. Every time we'd have a dual meet, you know, you'd go down the lineup up the weight classes. And I think at that time I was wrestling about 112 pounds. And he'd grab you around the chest and pick you up and crack you back and then smack you on the ass. And you'd be walking out to the center of the circle, rubbing your butt because it hurt so bad. And then you'd realize you were in the center of the mat. It was time to shake hands with your opponent. You didn't have time to be nervous. You were too busy rubbing your butt from him smacking you. (laughs) If I say the K Spear inch, what am I talking about? <laughs> the K Spear inch. Yeah. Hmm. Does that does that describe him lying on his side as a wrestler is in a pinning predicament? Coach holds up his hand and narrows the distance between his thumb and index <laughs> finger to tell the crowd just how close the wrestler is to being pinned. The K Spear well, inch. Coach was. Coach was just that when I was coming through. He, he coached it all the way junior high school, and then he moved up to the high school level. Actually, when I was in high school, uh, he coached at Mount Lake Terrace when I was at Linwood High School. And he, he had one of the best kids in the state at my weight class that I ended up having to beat to, to make it to the state tournament, uh, Terry Ransom. I, I remember it uh, fondly because, you know, obviously he's in the opposing team's corner coaching, coaching Terry uh, against me at the regionals to, to qualify and go to state. And uh, I was I was fortunate I ended up to win that match, but it was a tough match. Terry was a tough kid. Um, I never actually got to see Coach uh, as a referee. That came much, much later. Uh, I, I never saw him officiate. But I can imagine the case beer inch sounds sounds just like him. It uh, it actually is. I just love that that image that it puts in my mind. Um, he went on to uh, wrestle as well early in his career. Of course, uh, I think he won a state title for Edmonds High School his uh, senior year. I think it was 1963, but he had even more success at Central Washington University. Um, and it's his first teaching job, obviously, at Alderwood Junior High that that uh, really put him in a good spot to affect the lives of so many. Um, I'm I'm grateful that you took the opportunity to talk to us um, about him today. It's neat guys like that. I think we need more of. Agree or disagree? Absolutely. Well, I think it's 
it's indigenous to the sport of wrestling. I think there's there's guys like Coach across the country that, that have influenced a, a lot of young men and uh, kept them out of trouble, kept them working hard on a, on a wrestling mat, and, uh, and I think that's what makes Coach special. Randy Couture has been our guest today talking about Coach John Casebeer and uh, his impact on the sport, on uh, Randy's life as a young man, and the uh, man that he's turned out to be. It's been... It's, you and I actually know that um, we are distant cousins, John and I. And uh, when I found out that he was the one that actually put you on the wrestling mat, it just made all the sense in the in the world that you and I would eventually become friends. <laughs> because it seems like we've known each other forever, and perhaps it's because of John. It's a, it's a possibility. It surely is. Randy, I appreciate the time today, brother. I do. Thank you so much. And uh, congratulations to Coach K. Spear. He says it's just the kids. The kids are what make it and make it fun. It's not a lot of instant gratification. But people come back after 30 years and thank you for being a part of their life. That's huge. Those are his words. I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for listening.